Okay. Good afternoon. As long as I can remember, I've wanted to be an artist, but before I began chanting, having a career as a painter was like an impossible dream. I did not take art classes in school because I kept getting the message that studying art would be a dead end. Things began to change when I took a painting class at Rio Hondo Community College in 1973. I remember the mystical feeling of absorption I got the first time I painted a still life. Hours passed by like seconds. It was almost as if the picture was painting itself. I made a vow to continue painting for the rest of my life. At the time I joined this organization in 1984, I was driving a bus and going nowhere. I was working around the clock for a minimum wage salary and I had no time to work on my art. Things changed when my wife Terry, who was then a one-year member, challenged me to chant for more time to paint. I got immediate actual proof when I was fired from my bus driving job and through an incredible series of events, I fell into a career as an elementary school art teacher. Teaching art led to a degree and a 20-year career as a fifth grade teacher in my neighborhood of Whittier, California. Every morning, I would chant to speak to the Buddha and my students and for them to want to come to school. During that time, I would strive to make my classroom a joyful place where students could develop their creative and artistic abilities. I retired from teaching in 2014, eager to work full-time on my art career. Last September, Terry received a call to have a routine mammogram. A few days later, she learned that she'd been diagnosed with breast cancer. She made a sign on our altar that said, no chemo, no hair loss. In addition to chanting two hours a day, I chanted to introduce as many people as I could to this practice. I knew that this would change our karma. We also chanted to make our district into a champion district. Through this, Terry was fortunate enough to have a great oncologist and a great surgeon who successfully removed the cancerous lump. She then underwent a month of radiation at a hospital 40 miles from her home. We sailed to that hospital every morning in the Daimoku Diamond Lane. I'm happy to report that Terry is now cancer free and she never needed chemo and she didn't lose her hair. One of my first projects after retirement was to paint a 65 foot mural on a wall in Kennedy Park in Whittier. Kennedy Park was known as Bum Park and it was a home for the homeless and a haven for drug dealers. I wanted to paint a mural that would transform the park by giving the local community a work of art that they would treasure. I drew up a plan that would show the history of Whittier from the dawn of time to thousands of years into the future. I assembled a dedicated team of artists and volunteers from the community who ranged in experience from professionals to never having painted before, with a goal to paint the entire wall in one month. I chanted every morning to be a bodhisattva who paints and to complete 40 hours of work each day. With a great spirit of many bodies, one mind, the mural was completed in exactly one month, and the park has been transformed. Now children, families, and a few homeless people enjoy Kennedy Park. My dream now is to travel the world, painting and drawing, and being an artist for Kozen Rupu. This fall, Terry and I will travel to an artist retreat in Ireland, where we will paint for six weeks. Lastly, for the past year, I've been working with my Western Territory Arts Department leaders to get the Arts Department going in La Puente. Taking on that responsibility has really expanded my state of life. Most recently, our Joint Region Arts team has collaborated with the Future Division in response to drawing, uh, response to jazz drawing activity. Hi, Papa. Hi. In one of my favorite pieces of President Akeda's guidance, he states, the Kagon Sutra says, the heart is like a skilled painter. Like a great painter, the heart freely creates representations of all things. One's heart is the designer, the painter, the sculptor, and the architect of his or her being. President Akeda goes on to write, What kind of future do I envision for myself? What kind of self am I trying to develop? What do I want to accomplish in my life? The thing is to paint this vision of your life in your heart as specifically as possible. That painting itself becomes a design of your future. The power of the heart enables us to actually create with our lives a wonderful masterpiece in accordance with that design. Thank you.